I am Anil Kumar and in these set of videos we will try to understand co-function identities. Now the question here is show that cos of x plus pi by 2 equals to minus sin x. Let us consider a unit circle. So that's my unit circle and let me now draw x and y axis here. And we are considering angles in standard position that is to say that for the angle vertex is at the origin and initial arm is along the x-axis. Now let us consider a point on the unit circle and let the coordinates of the point be a b where a is the x value and b is the y value. Now in this particular question we are saying that cos of x plus pi by 2 is equal to minus sin x. We need to really show it or prove it. So this angle is for us is x. Now when we say x plus pi by 2 it means what? It means that the terminal arm which is this arm at present making an angle x in standard position is rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees, right? So if you rotate this by 90 degrees, it will take this position, right? So where this is 90 degrees. Now counterclockwise rotation, that is in this direction, by 90 degrees, that means 90 degrees, or pi by 2 in radius, let me write pi by 2 also, will change the coordinate points. A and B, the x value well, now you, if you see this triangle, the longer side along the x is now becomes the y value, right? So, so this length which was a actually becomes the height here, the y value. And b, the y value, becomes the horizontal x value with a negative sign. So, so the height b becomes minus b here, right? Sorry, this was a. So a becomes the height, right? So let me write them clearly again. Minus b and a are the coordinates of this point. Let me call this point as p, then this image is p dash. So what we see here is that the coordinates of point p are, let us say, a, b. Then p dash coordinates are a, becomes the y value and b becomes the negative x value. So minus b. So that is how we see that the coordinates get transformed when we do rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now at position p what is the value of sin x? Let's find out. So at p sin x so sin x is this angle, right? Opposite side over radius r. We are assuming it to be a unit circle, but you can take r as the radius. Okay. Then sine of x will be b over r. Now, once it is rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees, so the angle here becomes x plus 90 degrees. Now, at this position, what is cos of x plus pi by 2 or x plus 90 degrees. How much is that? Now if you look at this triangle, then cos is adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Adjacent side is minus b. So it is minus b over r. Now what we see here is that b over r is sin x. So I could write this as minus of sin x. So that is how I can show that cos of x plus pi by 2 is indeed equals to minus sin x. You see that? So that is how you can prove it. Well, that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is looking at the coordinate plane. And as you know, the cos rule. Cos is positive in quadrant 4. All are positive in quadrant 1. Sin is positive in quadrant 2 and tan is positive in quadrant 3. Now if I have let's say a point P here in quadrant 1 in that case all are positive. If I rotate it by 90 degrees counterclockwise 
then we come to a position in quadrant 2. Since in quadrant 2 cos is negative, right, and we also know rotation by 90 degrees gives result into change from cos to sine, right. Now since cos is negative and we are trying to relate it with sine which is in quadrant 1, then we have to take negative of that value. So that is an explanation which can help you to support your answer. I hope you understand and appreciate it, right? So, in general, we can actually prove using this method that tan x plus pi by 2, since tan is also negative here, will be minus cot x and cot x plus pi by 2 will be minus tan x. But if you take sine x plus pi by 2, then since sine is positive here, it is going to be equal to cos of x, right? So these are other related co-function identities which are very similar to one with which we started. But all can be proved in the similar fashion using the same points A and B and the radius R of the circle. I hope that helps to understand the co-function identities for clockwise rotation by pi by 2 or 90 degrees. Thank you.